Today, we are working on our miniature college dorm room. I am hoping to finish all of those little details today. We'll see how far we get. The first thing we need is storage. I picked up these storage containers at Michael's. They are a dollar each, the top can be removed, so we have a nice little container here for storing all of our miniatures. When we made the wooden beds, we made them tall enough so that we could put the storage containers underneath. I can put one, two, three storage containers under each bed. And the dust ruffle covers it up. Out of sight, out of mind. Let's add some shelves to the walls. I'm using giant craft sticks. These are about 10 inches long and an inch and a quarter wide. Measure and mark five inches. Cut on the line drawn. To cut the giant craft sticks, I'm using a pair of titanium non-stick scissors. Use a nail file to sand the raw edges smooth. Cut two one-inch pieces of a square wooden dowel. I'm using a razor saw that I picked up at Michael's. You have to be very careful with this because it is a razor saw. Sand them, glue them onto the ends of the craft stick, flip it over and glue it onto the wall for a shelf. Glue artificial plants into a white bead Glue it onto the wall and the shelf for extra support. I made some college textbook printables titled The Very Heavy and Expensive College Textbook. There are four different editions, so we have a nice variety. Cut out the book cover and the templates. Use a glue stick to glue the template onto recycled paperboard. Cut them out, take the book cover Fold it on all of the lines, folding the yellow parts over, then fold it on the side to make the spine. Open it up, glue the templates between the lines, leaving a tiny space between them. Fold over and glue down the yellow tabs to make a hardback cover. Cut out the pages, fold them accordion style, putting glue behind the pages to make the pages double-sided. Cut out the next row, fold accordion style, glue the first page from the second row to the last page of the first row, add the last row, and I'm left with a blank piece of paper on both ends. Glue the blank pages inside of the hardback cover. Use a binder clip to hold it down while drying to make a miniature college textbook. This one is edition two. Here's the first edition, edition three, and edition four. Place them on the shelf, along with some of our other books. I have some LED lights here. This is going to add a nice little glow. Put them going across the longest wall, and I place the battery pack inside of this little wall triangle thing we made here. I sat down at my computer and made a new printable using several of the pictures from our Instagram, The Frog Vlog. In the top corner, we made a little message board calendar. Cut it out. We could glue it directly onto the wall, but I want to add a little dimension. So I glue it onto recycled paperboard, place clear tape over the days of the week. When placing the tape, be careful not to cover all of the outside border. Take a cork sticker, cut it down to size, Place it over the picture of the cork. Take wood coffee stirs, paint them black, and allow them to dry. While waiting, trim off the excess paperboard. Once the coffee stirs are dried, glue them around the printable. Trim off the excess to make a miniature message board that has real cork on the side and a working dry erase board. Use poster putty on the back to attach it to the wall, giving us the option to change it later. Cut thin strips of black cardstock, cut them into two inch strips, glue them together to make a square, glue more strips going across one way, then the other. Brush it with clear nail polish and allow it to dry. While waiting, I cut out a few Polaroids, glue them onto cardstock, 
cut them out, glue them onto the grid, use poster putty to place it on the wall to make a fun way to display miniature photos. Cut out the other pictures, glue them onto recycled paperboard, cut them out, then glue on more painted coffee stirs to make frames. Use putty on the back to put the pictures on the walls. First, I space out the black and white pictures, then fill in with a little touch of color. Place our printable laptop on the desk, a tiny jar full of pencils, and the new iPhone 11 Pro Max to finish the room. Oh wait, we can't forget our water bottle. Gotta stay well hydrated while walking around campus. I really like the way this turned out. We have really soft pastels with touches of bold black, a dry erase board that really works, the lights are a really fun detail. I always add them when I can. There is plenty of storage under the bed for small accessories, allowing us to keep the room nice and neat. Thank you for joining us while we finished our college dorm room. All of our printables will be available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. We will post the link in the description box down below. Be sure to check out our other dorm room videos to see how we made the entire room. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! You gotta do something, get it.